Being a student means that I am graced with hundreds of stories from both sexes about what goes on at the club, from both flirting with people to being flirted on by others, and after two long years of basically laughing at everyone, I thought now would be a good time to put all my ideas together and I guess explain how a guy should properly talk to a girl at the club, of course from the perspective of a male talking to a female. So going straight into it, let's talk about the first thing you should try and get into a good habit of when it comes to flirting people at the club and that is eye contact. It must be so weird for girls when random guys practically appear behind them and just start dancing or something out of nowhere. It's so startling and unexpected and it's realistically something you can fix so easily and that is by making eye contact first. Maybe make 3-5 to five seconds of proper eye contact so that doesn't include little glimpses, that's not a long hard stare, that's just locking eyes for a few seconds to build some sort of rapport, maybe smile a little or just be positive, not too long, not too short. And this is just a way to acknowledge your existence and makes it a lot less weird when you want to go up to them later to talk or dance because you already know about each other, the familiarity is already there to some degree. But once you've made your eye contact and you've walked over and you're looking to talk, the next thing you should do 9 times out of 10 is work to break the touch barrier. Now a lot of guys leave this to way too late or they just do it in the wrong context, i.e. they like tap them on the arm or something after a weird joke or an awkward compliment and this just isn't the right way to do it. Don't tap them, don't hold on to their arm, pull them away, don't do anything dumb like that. Just a simple like, let's say you're going to get a drink, you should say, oh I'm going to go get a drink, do you want to come with? And maybe rest your hand on their shoulder or the arm for like 2 seconds. No more than like 2 or 3 seconds because that's when it gets weird and that's when it becomes too touchy. Assuming you can touch them kind of in a way claims territory, that's not really the best word to put out there but it's, it in another way builds a sense of rapport, builds a sense of familiarity and gets that connection. And a lot of the time, once you actually break that touch barrier, this makes it so much more easier later on, you get more comfortable together and a lot less awkward. But yeah, talking about being awkward, this is the hardest part to get right I think and that's the final part of this video, which is compliments. Now compliments inherently make things awkward, it increases tension. Like, think about it from when you're at work, when your manager comes and says, oh Jordan, you're doing a good job today. You're already thinking, you know, what do you want me to do? What am I doing wrong? Is she going to ask me to do something? And these little triggers aren't good when you're in the club, it's different when it's your friend because you already have that level of familiarity with them, but if it's someone you just met, it can be a bit weird. So it's cool to say something cute or say, oh you're so beautiful, things like that. But the best way to go about making compliments is to play it off after with a cute joke or to continue to chat as normal, don't say something cute and expect a cute response because that just makes it tense, whereas a joke releases pressure, releases tension and it's good to find a way to mix the two together and hopefully come out with a much more natural flowing conversation that doesn't rely on responses or reactions. By now, you generally come to either one or two conclusions. One, that you don't like her and you're probably going to walk away. Or two, that you like her and you want to get her number, set up a date and go on from there. All of this stuff I guess I'll explain in another video if you guys really care about it because as of today I guess that's it. The only other thing I say to be wary of in the club is trapping. Like trapping is not I'm not talking about drugs or migos, any of that nonsense, I'm talking about when you're talking to a girl and she might get pressed up into a corner, try not to stand in front of her and block off her exit. It gets so, so creepy sometimes when you're talking to someone in the club and then suddenly your friends come around you from left and right. And I guess in the girl's head sometimes it's like, wow, like, where I can't get out. Someone's in front of me, a guy on my left, guy on my right, what can I do? That's probably the only other thing I say to be conscious of. But other than that, I guess we're good for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you took something away from it, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe for more. Hadouken that like button. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.